Okay, you might already have a Laravel project set up, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a fresh one just here. And of course, I'm gonna call this Melee Search. Now let's wait for that to finish. And once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and install Laravel Breeze just for a little bit of scaffolding inside of our app so we can work with this nicely. So let's do that first of all. Let's go ahead and grab the composer require command for Breeze. If you've not used this before, it's a really minimal boilerplate for Laravel. So let's go into that mini search directory and run composer require Laravel Breeze. And let's come over and of course run the install command, which is gonna generate a load of controllers for us. This is gonna allow us to authenticate with this app and do a bunch of other stuff. Not that we really need that at the moment, but it's gonna give us a kind of nice dashboard page, like I said, that we can do this with. Now we need to compile out all of our uh, front end assets. So let's run npm install and npm run dev and just wait for that to finish. Just while we're doing that, let's review the instructions for Laravel Scout. So if we come over to installation here, uh, we need to, of course, pull the composer package in. We can publish the configuration so we can tweak this. And we also have some driver pr uh, prerequisites that we need to think about. And of course, we're using MiniSearch. So we're going to go ahead and follow this and install the MiniSearch PHP library and HTTP factory guzzle as well. We'll talk about that in just a second. So hopefully the assets should be compiled now. Not quite. So let's just wait. And that's all done. So let's jump over to our app and just configure our database. Of course, that's really important. We need to be able to connect to our database to actually index our results. I've already created a database here called Mealy Search, and I'm just going to switch my username over. Now that should be enough to go ahead and just generate our default migrations or run our default migrations, which is just the users table. So that will allow us to register an account. If we actually head over to the app now, which is not running at the moment, let's go ahead and make sure we do that. I'm just gonna run this uh, with PHP Artisan Serve. Uh, we should be good. So let's head over, give that a refresh, and there we go. We can go ahead and register an account. Let's just do that really quickly, just so we're booted into a nicer UI. It always makes sense to kind of do this within a kind of nicer page. And there we go, we're on our dashboard. So we'll be cloning this to create the search page that we saw from the introduction. Okay, so with all of that out the way, let's go ahead and pull Laravel Scout in, get the Mealy Search uh, prerequisites in that we need. So let's go over to installation, let's pull Laravel Scout in, and we'll do that, of course, in a separate tab. So let's come back over to Mealy Search, pull that in, and let's go ahead and publish the config once that is done. There we go. And let's go and pull Mealy Search in. So these two things that we need, pull them both in and we should be good to go. Now, inside of our EMV, we need to switch over our Scout driver to MiliSearch, and we were speaking in the last part about the MiliSearch uh, search host and the MiliSearch key as well, which, like I said, is set to the string master key. Once you go into a production environment, that's gonna be, uh, of course, different, and you're gonna want to actually set that, um, but for now, we can just pretty much copy these three things and add them to our EMV. Let's put them just at the bottom here. Now, let's look inside of scout.php, which is the config file that's been created. You can see that's now taking into account our scout driver that we've just set. And if we come down, we should have specific mini search configuration down here. And sure enough, we have the host and the key. It's pretty much all we need to use to access mini search once it's up and running. So we've got a nice API to work with. Now, speaking of that, we're inside of Mealy Search directory here. Let's go ahead and actually run Mealy Search. Now, what you'll notice is when you do do this, you will get a data.ms, which of course stands for Mealy Search directory created. Do not delete this because it's going to contain all of the index information about your search store. So don't go ahead and just delete that. It is a little bit confusing sometimes as to why a file or a folder randomly appears but that is what it is. So now that we've got that working and we've configured Laravel Scout, we can go on to start actually indexing some data.